here at Raffles Garage. Guess, guess what car we're looking into right now? Huh? Huh? Baby, you want to tell me? A Prius. A Prius? This does not look like a Prius. <laughs> chan chan. Yeah, that's right, boys. Hellcat right here. Uh, this one has 28,000 miles. My baby wants a Hellcat or a truck. So, checking this one out. We're going to go for a test drive right now in a bit. Um, I believe they're asking 57 for this one. 56? Uh, 50, 58 it's overpriced like 2700 but it's the color she wants white um, and um, okay it's a 2017 so I'll walk you around it so looks pretty good only thing I see with this car it has that little paint chip and that's about it but got the Hellcat badge right there my ticket Brimble six pistons so we'll see if we take this bad boy time to make numbers Back here again, but guess what? We're looking at a new car. Okay, baby, what are you taking home? What are you taking home? Like ninety thousand dollar car. You want to show? Him? Yeah, but we probably can ride it. That 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 Jeep right there. Yeah. Oh, now nah, we're taking that demon home right there. Where's the where's the emblem? Where's the emblem? Like you see, they're already pulling it out for us. And turned it on for us. But you'll see the demon logo right there behind. Okay. I want to run the video. Alright. So we're taking this one home. Battery's dead. Is the battery connected? Yeah, this should do it. So this is what we're taking home. The Daytona white body Hellcat supercharger. Only 10 miles. And that's how much we're paying. With those special Daytona rims, I'll do a more a video better, but a badge. So this one is 142 out of 501. We got the blue station Daytona here. Yeah, I'm trying to get it out right now. That way you could fill it up wash it and drive it home there it is taking it home already someone's excited she's driving it home not me so there it is my drive my girl driving it home off the truck see Mark's reaction to it and what's it called got some meat so I'll pick it up in a little bit she's finally home gotta go eat something how was it first drive so yeah Hellcat's home 
Nope. Already got the red key. <laughs> Look, red key. So they gave us, we got two red keys and one black key. Uh, black key is for 500 and then the red key is for the 707, the full horsepower of this, so. Yep. Rolling up to Mark's first reaction. Look at that fool, that was already outside. He saw me already. Look at that motherfucker. Happy birthday! Hey, happy yeah, for the new life. Very dark. So, what do you think? Okay. What do you think about? First thing I think is please, oh, see, I told you, <laughs> please do not leave that on. This actually damages your lip. Yeah, if you that. leave it on for a long time, with the wind, it's gonna scratch your lip. So take that shit off. But ah. Uh. Are you wet? Is it smooth? Oh, this smooth. You're ready for wax, baby. You wanted a wide body, right? You're ready for wax, huh? Yes, you are. You what do you wax? think about the Daytona, though? Oh, I, to, I'm up to that. I don't. I know. actually. Uh, so uh, if I, I if I was to buy a charger, my three colors were white, Destroyer Gray, or B5 Blue. They don't make Destroyer Gray on 2020. I know, and they don't make B5 Blue anymore either. I mm -hmm. love that color. The whole car, B5 Blue. But what do you think? I'm, I'm actually gonna take it off. I kind of like it. I don't. It's too many colors. Yeah, but you're flexing. It's saying, it's saying you're one of 500. <clears throat> 500 and what? 500, oh, 501. Well, yeah, 500 more out, out there. No, there's 501 in total. Yeah, so there's 500 more out there. Yep. So, ooh, right there. Where's the number plate? Right there, 142. Ooh. <clears throat> I like the blue stitching. She don't like this. Though. I, yeah. She, she don't like so it tell her to fucking get from here, there, a new Alcantara piece. They can redo this piece right here. Or fucking dye it black. Or red. He wants the, she wants uh, the SRT. I like this though. So we already had this car for a day. Um, gonna do a little walkthrough about it. This actually has 10 more extra horsepower than the regular Hellcat, just because it's a Daytona, the 50th anniversary one. Um, these rims only come in Daytona, but basically, I'm not gonna give you guys a test drive because car's brand new. We got it with 14 miles, so I still gotta break in the motor, and yeah. So I'm gonna wait until I hit that thousand or three thousand miles, and then I'll start launching it or accelerating it right now i'm just babying it and well i've been driven it I, i've been driving it my girl hasn't she only drove it home i don't know if she's scared of it right now or what but eventually she's gonna drive it around but uh, this is probably gonna get removed she don't like the daytona blue stuff it has she doesn't like the daytona blue stitching um it's not the blue that she doesn't like it's just the daytona she rather prefer the srt um so and the hellcat the little logo that it usually has um but other than that the daytona came with blue stitching everywhere suede you could got it in any in mean any hellcat but this is um a numbered car it's 142 out of 501 but everything else is basically the same all hellcats in 2020 came with the white body so nothing different um the only thing also the tona came out was different between look at that supercharger right there the only difference between the Daytona and the regular Hellcat is that these brimbles are black on the regular Hellcat they are actually red so my girl liked them black it's another reason why she liked this for and because it was one of the last three in California the other one was a regular white one who knows what the other one was but there's not much differences on it you still have 
everything back here is the same one thing that we did notice about this one it has the cup holders and the armrest on the back on the 2017s that we saw it didn't have it i'm not sure if it was because of the trim but everything is normal heated rear seats so i'll make a video later on of launching this car or you know seeing the full power of it when i break the motor in but yeah a little glimpse of what we got i'm just gonna fire it up for you guys real quick Let's show you how everything looks overall the interior is still the same um you know you still got the red and then same cluster so but it's pretty cool because it has a lot of settings it has a lot of gauges um launch control you could adjust it from 25 to a thousand um you also have gauges that you can put there and you can put over here cool about this is that it has a lot of apps so that's pretty cool you have heated steering wheel heated seats and cool um, of course uh, settings for your you got settings for the seats and mirrors so that's pretty cool that way my girl has a setting I have a setting and yeah the only thing I hate about this is that it takes a while to load. I don't know why. Maybe it needs an update. But right now it's acting slow. So, but the same gauges you can get there, you get them on the cluster. Which I'm going to show you real quick. Oh, it has speed warning, so I'll get notified when if it goes over a certain speed. But those are the gauges right there. So trans, boost, air fuel ratio, coolant temperature, you got oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, coolant, and last one, intake air temperature. G-force, pretty cool. Engine, how much horsepower, torque you're using, um, boost pressure, what gear you are. Same thing with the dyno. You also have time timers basically my best time which i haven't done so right now when it loads you'll see that i haven't or actually last four point seconds best three so it really hasn't been accelerated um so i'm just babying it right now same thing with my girl i told her to baby it um we already put about 120 120 miles already wasted about half a tank and this is me babying it like i'm not doing hard accelerations or anything so yeah it's pretty cool no message trip info there you go fuel economy so and this is our, all the gauges that i showed you you could have them there on the dash time so that's the top speed so far 80 miles an hour it's not bad for a car that hasn't been broken in so yeah it has all these gauges vehicle information I do like the technology on it and later on I'll post a video of doing a pull on this you know probably racing somebody gapping people i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching please like subscribe and i'm out <laughs>